YouTube, what it do is your guy Sneaker Dunn back in with them packs in from across that water. Today, I want to give a huge shout out to all of my subscribers who's been tuned in to the channel. You guys finally got to 400 subscribers. It's a slight start, but I'm happy with this start, child. We're going to move it up to a thousand and we're going to go beyond that. So if you're new to the channel, do your guy a favor, hit that like and subscribe to this channel, man, because I be dropping videos like the one you're going to be looking at today on a regular now, I also want to give a huge shout out to my guys over at TechKick.ru because that's where this pickup is coming from today, man. We do got the red and black box up in the building. This is not the, you know, black and red that we usually would get. This is a predominantly red box and it does have the black Nike branding on the actual box. But like I said, huge shout out to TechKick.ru. We're going to get into this actual... Uh, tag that we got right here i'm gonna let y'all see it and i'm gonna read the colorway out as well as the actual model we have an air jordan one high 85 and it's in that black and summit white let y'all see that again wham blam we're gonna run it up to a thousand man but uh we're gonna get into that box I'm going to let y'all see that Nike logo under that lid. And we do have some faded numbers and letters right there. But yeah, that's the under lid of the box, man. And I'm going to let y'all take a look at what's going on right there under that actual translucent like tissue paper. We do have the actual shoes, but I'm going to let y'all see we do have the jump man and we do have that Jordan 1 wing and the 23 going all over this actual paper you see the logos we're gonna pull that paper down and this is what y'all here to see a beautiful high cut 85 original looking jordan one man in that black and white panda like look but it's not the pandas same colorway but we have a beautiful like i said 85 high cut jordan one in the building man looking so lovely like I said, techhick.ru, all of their links will be down in the description, but we're gonna give a overall look into this actual shoe and you know, see what's going on with it. Now, these did release, I believe it was February the 15th. I did take a L on sneaker out, but like I said, thank you to the actual site that I did get these from again, because I was able to pick them up in my size. Uh, we're going to start with the actual front of this shoe and what's coming in. We do have extra set of laces. We see the white in this bag. And in the actual shoe, we do see the black laces intact. And like I said, we got an overall clean black and white shoe. The bottom, we do have a black bottom Nike logo on the bottom. Back up to the side. Nice, beautiful hat cut. Jordan 1. We got a wing on the side. We usually see the wing on the side. It's looking a little shiny like, you know, and you can feel the actual overall quality is feeling good on it. We do have the back of the shoe looking so nice and beautiful. We have an hourglass shape. Like I said, overall dope shoe. We do got that, you know, 85 toe box of this actual Jordan 1 that we don't see on the up-to-date Jordan 1s that's looking so good. Everything is feeling so good about this sneaker. Everything about the quality, everything about the leather is screaming official. But like I said, this is from across the water. This is not a retail pickup. I did not pick these up from Nike. These is from techkick.ru. Like I said, links will be in the description. And huge shouts out to them again. Amazing shoe that we have in the building. I'm going to take the actual shoe tree tissue paper out of this actual kick. I'm going to set it to the side. I'm going to let you guys see the actual inside of the kick. Matter of fact, I will take the insole out so we can get an overall good look on what's going on on the insole. We do have this Jordan brand branding on the actual insole. Different sticker that I haven't seen before. Jordan Pro BB, made in China. We have the actual model, you know, layout on the actual insole. And yeah, 
we do have the Nike Air on the actual all white insole in that black size tag 10 and a half. Again, we get to the actual back. We have a 10 and a half on the actual bottom of the actual insole. Everything is looking great about these kicks inside looking great. Uh, we just have a different cut, you know, everything is looking different from the actual up to date Jordan ones. And yeah, dope kicks, dope kicks, dope kicks. I don't know if I said it already, but we do have that tongue in that off white. We do have the Nike air on that tongue embroidered in that black on that actual off white tab. The back of the tongue, you got all of that good writing we usually see. And we're gonna get it around to the inner of the actual kick. Looking very beautiful to me, man. All of the stitching is looking good on this kick. Overall quality is amazing. Like I said, feels very, very good. Feel very, very sturdy. I'm gonna pull the other shoe about the box. And we do have the other shoe. Everything looking about the same on this kick as it was on the actual left kick, but this is the right kick and it's looking amazing. Um, we do have this card. I don't know how much on the money this card is or how much off the money it is from the actual retail, but we do have the actual makeup and build of the shoe in the inside of this actual card right here i won't be wearing this with the shoe but i feel like it's dope and it's cool that they you know pretty much got everything on the money to the actual release of this actual shoe like i said everything is looking about the same as the left shoe but this is the right shoe and it's looking great all of the actual details and the actual quality of the stitching is looking great on this shoe as well, man. Like I said, huge shouts out to my guys across that water, man, because this is a dope sneaker, man, and I'm loving it. Um, I do like the whole throwback feel that we get because we have the actual sizing again on this actual inside of the actual liner of the shoe, and it's looking dope to me, the 10 and a half. We got the actual numbers. It's giving me that vintage feeling. And yeah, man, these, these shoes is dope, man. I mean, we're talking about good, comfortable, sturdy quality in the inside. Overall dope shoe, man. But um, y'all let me know what y'all think about these 85 Jordan 1 has, man. Like I said, it came out looking pretty good from them guys over there. All of the links will be down in the description if you're interested. Like I said... I did take a L on these, and right now they sitting at around 315-ish in my size, which is a size 10 and a half in these Jordan ones. And you know, um, it looks like to me I'm getting the same look and the same feel for much less when I shop with my guys over at Tech Kick. But y'all just let me know what y'all think. And while I got y'all here, man, y'all let me know as well on what shoe would y'all be taking over the other because like i said we do have the actual 85 has in that black and white panda look here but we do have another shoe which i want to say is my pretty much overall favorite shoe of all time that's the concord 11 in the black and white panda effect you know all besides the actual bottom where you can see that actual blue and you know but overall this is a dope shoe as well y'all let me know which one would y'all be taking over the other? Both simple shoes. You know, I can say on the bottom of the Concord, we do got a translucent also. And on the actual 85 halves, we have the black also, which um I really rock with for the simple fact you don't have to worry about cleaning it as hard or it getting, you know, like yellowed out. And we do have a Seaman 3, which recently released over this past couple of weeks. And this is a dope sneaker as well. You know, it has the black and white other than the actual elephant print where you can see that gray look and feel. But you know, all three of these shoes, we getting a black and white look. Y'all just let me know which one which I'll be taking for the win, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, this has just been a look from your guy done on these 85 high Jordan ones from my guys over there at tagkick.ru. All of their links, like I said, will be down in the description. 
And like I said, these came out looking pretty good, but y'all just let me know what y'all thinking about these, man. I'm going to try to get a quick thumbnail. <laughs> try to get a quick thumbnail real quick, but y'all just let me know down in the comments, man, what y'all thinking about these kicks. Like I said, these is looking very, very good to the done. These will be going to the toe. And we already up at 400, man. Let's get it to 1,000, guys, and let's get it beyond 1,000. And, you know, the more and more this channel grow, I will be dropping better and better content for this actual channel. I mean, it just let me know that y'all guys love me. When y'all do leave good comments, when y'all do like these videos, and, you know, when I get new subscribers. So, let's keep it moving, man. Spring is here. We got the summer coming up. And we got number but heat that y'all going to be seeing coming from your guy done. But, other than that, I'm going to be out. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one. I love y'all. I'm out, man.